Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Alien Isolation. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, we uh, escaped. Um, we escaped the alien and at least one working Joe uh, through a maze of confusion and and just downright chaos in some cases. Oh dear, no likey. Um. Yeah. No, please? No, thank you? How about that one? Will that work? Zion torch. I hope I'm going the right way. Tow platform. I don't know I've ever been there before, so it looks like I'm going the right way. I'm working on getting you a signal. Um. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. the docking procedure. Okay. Oh, no. I definitely do not trust you. Standing at the... Okay, so it's the one behind me. Alright. Yeah, let's use that. I didn't do that out of order. Ha. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh no. There we go. have to avoid this working Joe that's being all creepy and stuff. says there's something here right next to me. Oh, an ID tag. Cool. Just in case. Am I going the right way? It says I am. Rig. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Extend maintenance rig. That's it. Get to the airlock. Oops, save. Hostiles nearby. Definitely hostile nearby. Definitely hostile nearby. Okay, oh, there it is. It's in there. Okay. I know where the airlock is, I just know that it's a pain in the butt to get there. Okay. that it went up. Ow. Oh no. And... Yeah. I just collapsed in the vent.
middle. It's literally, yep, it's literally right there. I can see it. Ooh. Go upstairs. Come on, Ripley. changing an appropriate response. Get back to the airlock. to be really quick to squish it if a face hugger comes at me. Oh, thanks. I hate it. Oh, I really, really hate it. Ooh. Flamethrower fuel? I have flamethrower. I thought I had it loaded.
Got them both. All right. was a waste. I left a I probably I left an ID tag behind. necessarily the best way to say that. I want a little bit more flamethrower fuel before I'm comfortable switching over. But I will load it. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, and that's the best person to call right there.
what? Can I not actually go this way? No, I guess I can't. That, doesn't, that looks like it's the best way to go. Isn't this the door that I came out of? Yeah. Okay, so I guess I go over here and then... Down a little bit? What? Uh, okay. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm seeing what they're putting down. Whoa! Say that again. Too close. Saw flamethrower fuel. Okay, there it is. Alright. Now I'm comfortable enough to switch it over. Alright. Do I need to? I might need to go in the tunnel. Because that door appears to be locked. Oh, no. Where are you? Where are you? And now back to the shotgun. Ow! Move it! Ugh. 
Yeah, because you let me down, or, you know, let yourself down, too. Torrens is your way out of here. I need a fire extinguisher. If somebody could do that for me, please. And then I lit myself on fire. How do I get over there? Oh, okay. Well, I feel like a total idiot. Okay. I need... No! To... I was in the process of medicating myself. But I did it too slowly, I guess. There's a safe spot. I'm gonna get to that and use it. I can't. Fun. Isn't this where I just was? Yeah, that's where I have to go. Okay. another one and I'm gonna use it okay oh I wonder why I couldn't yeah that's fine what I guess I have to change into that one No more alien, right? Okay, good. that I'd already stopped. Okay. Stuff needs to stop exploding around me, please. I'd really appreciate that. And it, uh, okay, I was about to say, and it actually listened? That's random and out of the ordinary. Okay, um... Almost to the to the cart that I need to take.
I see them. Both of them are done. And now then that comes up. What's going on? What's happening? Alright. moving toward me that, that there are multiple xenos moving toward me oh no do it Ripley push the buttons got out but I don't know we're loading so something's happening Berlaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. Where do I change? Or do I not change? Berlin? Oh no!
made it in time. Okay, that well, that's an ending, man. Wow. Okay. I don't know what to make of that. I mean... I'm kind of... I'm letting it play because games deserve... Especially games of this quality deserve to let their, their names be known. Um, I'll put... Here's a, here's a time stamp uh, to, my, to my final thoughts on the game. Dan Abnett, really? Okay, Dan Abnett, it's one of the he's one of the writers, he's the top writer, but he was also the the writer to the first alien movies, or one of the the main writers. They used original music, or original music from the movie. Burrows. Oh, well, she was the, the likeness and motion capture. The voice was Andrea Deck, George Anton Axel, Cyrus Lowe, likeness and okay, Richie Campbell, Ransom. William Hope was Waits. That's right. That's his name. Okay. I think several of those people are dead now that were in the original movie. I know at least Ian Holmes is, Ian Holm is, and I think Tom Skerritt, but I could be wrong. Hmm. It's interesting that they have like NPCs and missing people listed there. I wonder if I was supposed to, if those were like all the names on the tags that I'm supposed to find.
But yeah, put down in the comments if you want to see me actually do like a completionist, you know, uh, series of this. I know I'm going to be doing at least crew expendable, uh, but I'm not going to start that for a couple of months. Um, kind of going to wait until probably the holiday season or maybe even at the beginning of 2024 to get uh, crew expendable started. Yeah, and see, that's the main reason that I actually say signing off in my, uh, in my videos and in, in the end of my streams is from Ripley. And not long after I kind of started doing this venture, I rewatched Alien for like, however the longest longest time. I mean, or many time. Um, and whenever she did that, I was like, you know, that's a good way to end videos and stuff. It's not used very commonly among YouTubers that I know of, which I am making a uh, uh, the scholarly attempt becoming a, a YouTuber, if you will. We're now at 20th Century Fox, now known as 20th Century Studios. <laughs> I, I call it 20th Century Disney in most cases now. Because Disney bought it out. Hooray. Woo. It's interesting to think that Jerry Goldsmith wrote these, this music. Uh, he's also responsible for writing, I think, most of Star Trek as well, at least or composing most of Star Trek. Yay, production babies! That's a lot of production babies. I wonder if that's CA meaning like California. Hmm. Yeah, 
Ronald Shusett. I knew the last name, last game. Oh wait, Dan Ebner. Dan Ebner did write something for Alien. Dan O'Bannon, Dan O'Bannon, and Ronald Shusett were actually the original writers. Dan Abnett, I want to say, did Alien Three? Maybe. Well, that was the conclusion of the main storyline for Alien Isolation. Uh, all in all, fantastic, wonderful survival horror game. Um, very, very good, very good addition to the, the Alien franchise. I do believe it is canon, but I'm not entirely certain, um, that it is. I hope it is. I would have to look it up and find out, and I'll, here, here, I'll just say right there. Um, but, yeah, amazing ambience, great characters, decent voice acting, amazing, uh, th the best thing about this game for me is the sound design. Um, I, I do think the alien sounds get a little repetitive. But otherwise, like, you're, you're walking along. It's like Creaking Station. And they were, did really well with making sure that they didn't overdo the, the, the creakiness. You know, or the, not, whenever I say, like, the redundant uh, the redundant sounds of creakiness. If you heard a if you heard a sound, you didn't hear it again for a while, uh, or the same one. It just added to this overall sense of dread and uh, oh gosh, something's behind me, kind of a thing, you know, or something's coming. That that made the game feel real. Sometimes, as as you would, as, if you've watched my entire uh, my entire playthrough, you would just see that I'm so caught up in the game i can't i can't speak i can't talk because i'm just so caught up in it and i'm like i'm almost like watching a movie but i'm playing it you know and that's the thing that i love about this specific game and i cannot wait to play crew expendable like i said uh in in previous videos i had finished it on stream after i had uh initially bugged the the alien I believe it was nine point five that or in nine episode nine that I had that I had uh, bugged the alien. Uh, like a little while after that, I finished the game on stream. I love it now more than the second time that I've played it through than I did the first time. The first time it was more like just get through it, you know, just do it, just do it. Which at the end of the game, that's the that's my only complaint. Is it just it kind of dragged a little bit you know it felt like there was never there was never enough you weren't going to be able to to end the game there and there were options of doing it of course but they just chose to prolong it and i think that's to give a sense a, a prolonged sense of dread of every aspect of the game you're getting stuck you know until you finally think you escape or your your character Amanda Ripley she escapes but now then she's just floating off into space but all in all let's just say I'll give that game 9 out of 10 xenomorphs so yeah um I am looking into doing the it was the PS3 era so the, you know the PS3 Xbox 360 um era um Aliens vs. Predator. I am looking at, into doing that. I have it on my computer. Um, I don't know if controllers are a thing that I can that I can do with it. Um, be on the lookout for it if I do. Uh, like I said, Crew Expendable is coming sometime. But thanks for watching. Stick around for what's coming next. This is Colin the Conqueror. Signing off.